Hey fam. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to y'all do y'all see this light still on me? This is crazy. Yeah. It's uh, a little after six. It's six oh nine AM. And as you see uh, the skylight, the light is coming through the ceiling. I'm still tripping off this beam of light in my face. I don't understand it. But we're going to go with it, okay? Um, what I wanted to talk about is, can I just, can I just, um, you know, I, I have a message uh, for a queen. And just a little bit of encouragement and stuff like that. Now, also, things that I don't understand, you know, and, but I just wanted to talk about something, okay? And so I'm hearing, okay, because I'm all the way on the West Coast, but it has come across my feed about Shirley Strawberry. I didn't even, you know, I I didn't know nothing about what she got going on. You know what I mean? I've been keeping my, my, my eyes on my own paper. You understand me? I've been going through a test too, girl. Look. Okay? So being in somebody else's been naive, it ain't had nothing to do with me. So it's like, man, I mean, I had no rhyme or reason to know nothing about husband, hu- you know, husband in jail and all this whole type of shit. Man, this ain't none of my business. Okay? Shit. Last I checked, uh... You know, I know of you from way back. I'm talking about 92.3 The Beat. Amen. Yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. She got the name Strawberry because she married into the Strawberry family. Daryl Strawberry, which it was her brother-in-law, he played for the Dodgers back then. Okay. She had married his brother and she had took on the name Strawberry. Beautiful wedding, man. Here back, this was, man, the 90s or the early 2000s go way, 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 way back. So, you know, to hear about this and everything, you know, it's just, wow, it's, this, 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 this is, this is, this is, girl, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the hoodies. And I'm talking about to the hoodies at the Orleans Hotel. That's the first one, okay? I was there, fam. Oh, I'm sure I'm not talking about everybody. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm talking about everybody. I'm not talking about you. know what I'm saying, but yeah, bowling alley and shit in the Orleans Hotel. It used to be a comedy night, a bowling night, the early morning show tapings. Man, that was a time. Okay, time is just, that was, that was just a time. Then it left from there, and then it went to, uh, next to the Luxor. What's the name of that shit? I can't even think of the name of Mandalay Bay. So then it, it left from the Orleans to the Mandalay Bay. And family, it was still, I mean, cracking, Okay. Then, um, when the show went to Atlanta, you know, things just kind of changed up, you know. Um, and so, and then we got Essence Music Festival, early morning tapings. You know what I mean? Just just things throughout the year. So, to hear all of this, you know, it's just, wow. To hear about Steve's situation, wow. And... I don't even know how Big Boom got involved with all this, but it's just, okay, wow, it's a lot going on, you know what I mean? But to just talk about this queen, though, because it's just, you know, everybody has an opinion, and a lot of people is like, how can you, strawberry letter, and you got this right here going on, you know what I mean? And it's like, wow. And let me just say this, okay, because I know a lot of people, you know, is looking at her credibility and looking at, you know, you can't, how you going to be out here trying to, you know what I'm saying, help motherfuckers do what they going through and you got this right here. Wow. 
And it just goes to let you know, and it just grows to show that women are being swindled out here, okay? Women are being swindled. And the more that you have to offer, you know, you have, uh, it opens it up to a whole nother group of individuals that find you as prey, okay? They find you as prey, and they, 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 they scope you out. They find you, they, they stalk you, they pretend to be so many things, you know, to just kind of get into your world, get into your life, your reality, your existence, to be anything that you need them to be just to be with you. And a lot of times they, because it's like a shapeshifter, it's a magician, it's a, hmm. But as you begin to learn and grow and go through these perils and you meet these different people on your path and throughout your detours of life, it's the way in which you digest those things because later on, and especially when you grow through them, you <clears throat> you tend to use all those things that have happened to you and you become an alchemist, okay? And with those, you transmute energies, you build in all those things off those things and off those people that you met in all those life instances, circumstances, and everything that has happened. And so I know I'm all over the place. It's getting personal. But, girl. And to hear you saying all the things that you've lost, your car, truck, your home, everything. Wow. That's acrimony like a motherfucker. You understand me? Wow. You know, and it's like, and a lot of people can say, well, how? How could you, how, why wouldn't you wake up before this can happen? And girl, how did you not know? And girl, how did you, and girl, how did you, and how could you, and da 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 and da 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 ba da ba da ba ba okay? But I'm telling you, it's people out here that's cold with it, okay? And they... Are predators. They prey upon you. Okay. And everything that. They feel. As though you're looking for. Or things that they feel as though you need. They become those things. And. Girl. Girl. This is a lot, like, surely, like, girl, queen, I am just like, it's like, what do you say? What do you say? You know, because it's, that's a hell of a betrayal. I mean, it's, 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 it's a betrayal to not only, you know, find out. That your spouse, your husband is cheating on you. But to hear him speaking with another woman. Oh, girl. That was ugly. What was equally ugly, what I'll say was a little bit far greater, was the conversation you were having with this fool. 
with this clown. I mean, Barnum and Bailey. Okay? Girl. But the conversation you were having in reference to your daughter. I remember when she, when you had her, I remember when you were pregnant with her. I remember the baby shower, and I remember you on the radio, and I just remember that time. And it's like, that right there, that was hard. Because I have to say that I listened to that. I heard it. And, Queen, I don't have to say, that I don't have to say nothing to make that right there. More harder to digest or to process than what it is already. But damn, Queen. Really? I have to say, um, and let me knock on wood, amen. And maybe because this is something that, you know, I haven't had that yet. But. I guess since I've gone through so many things already, I'm getting set up for this. Because uh, what now what I'm looking for is agape love. I'm praying for that heavy. And I'm willing to sit out the game, work on myself, tend to me. You know what I'm saying? Until he find me. Okay? So if I got to be rude, I'm going to be rude. You understand me? I'm going to be that. Because... <clears throat> Old track or tripping. There are predators out here. Okay. I done had it all. I've been taken from, stolen from, cheated on, emotionally abused, physically abused, <laughs> sexually abused. Amen. So, that shit is heavy, you know. I understand. Hmm. That's stolen from, no. For a man to go into your wallet, go into your bank account, go into your stashes, whatever the case to take from you, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. It's like, which one hurts the worst? It's like, okay, for them to cheat on you and to just do that or to take or to steal or to thieve from you. I've had both of those things. And honestly, both of them are pretty damn heavy. Okay, so, girl, for you to go through all this right here and to have so much loss behind it and the rebuilding that has to take place now, Steve is going through his own set of shit, so, you know, for him to digest it the way that he is and just allowing you to continue to work there, I don't know how the environment you know, will be there after, you know, as the days and the weeks and the years go by. But I have to say that you help build that platform. So many things has happened. You done seen so many things through. You know, you've 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 moved from LA to the East Coast, you know, all behind this machine, this morning show thing. So I can't, I, 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 I feel as though your weight is just as high as Steve's. Y'all, y'all built this thing together. It was y'all, you understand me? So, <sighs> the table talk that you had about him, whatever that was that you said. Let's just say whatever that was that you said. Throughout the years, he said so many things. On air and everything else. Everybody knows that. So for him, for that, 
Let that go. Let that go. You already see she's dealing with a serious, covert, okay? I mean, this man is taking from you, smiling in your face, still calling you baby. Girl, is that not the ultimate betrayal? Thank God for me that, you know, before I was able to wake up, it was, you know, my losses weren't as great. But still, I got some L's up under my corset. My heart has been tattered, shattered, broken, all kind of shit. Okay? But it still beats. It still beats, queen. And how you're going to pull yourself up out of this? Girl, it's a day-by-day situation. Just breathe. Get up every day. Strength is what's needed. Strength is, you know, use this right now. You know, because now there's a lot of women that Hold empathy, sympathy, apathy, and all those things for what it is that you're going through right now. A lot of us have been through some of those things. Not all those things, but some of those things. You know what I'm saying? Regardless to its weight. Well, girl, mine just took, he just took $10 from me. I ain't, girl, mine ain't really that. Do you really call that ass Steven, girl? Well, mine, girl, he took the whole joint, girl. I don't even know what that was. I had a joint and ashtray, girl. I came back, he took the whole. So it just depends on who you talking to. Okay? But for whatever degree, for your significant other to take from you or to put you in a loss, Or to have, to be, to have been the vessel for things to have been taken from you. Oh, girl. And this, this is someone that you took a vow to. Oh, my God. Shirley. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. We need a village of queens to say and to speak our truths and to say that we, you know what I'm saying, we done been through some shit too, okay? And we're still pulling ourselves out. We're still getting up and getting over. And it is hard as hell to keep quiet. It is hard as hell to stay above board and to not overreact, not respond, not uh, show another side or not activate, especially when there's smear campaigns or when you're trying to conceal so many things because you don't want your significant other to be ostracized, criticized, beat up, or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's like you keep quiet because you know that if you cut the volume up, man, it will ring it will it will ring so many alarms and so many it will just be a domino effect of bad things to come and to happen. But to keep quiet to 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 stay ladylike. To keep quiet, to not show that, okay, I'm an angry black woman. To keep quiet, to appease people that don't, not feeling your pain. They're not feeling what you're going through, okay? And every day you got to get up and have a morning show. You got to get up every morning and start somebody else's day off great. You got to breathe life and pour life and pour of what you don't have that day into somebody else's cup. Damn. See, now I've had the benefit of. Now, though 
on YouTube, some people will say, oh, that ain't, that ain't the same. Listen here. When you're giving of yourself globally to others, regardless to the size of the audience, it can, it can, it can be a heavy thing to do. And it weighs on you in so many different ways. It calls upon and brings upon so many different things in your reality, in your path, all kinds of shit. It affects your family, your job, your home, everything when you're putting yourself out there. And so, girl, (laughs) but right now, you're still working, amen? You still have a job to come to. You know, you're going to, okay, I'm getting something else come across my screen. Y'all, I just had to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to think, is she about to cry? No. But uh, I got another message came across. But, um, girl, damn. Hmm. You're going to make it through. You're going to bounce back. And you're going to make it through. And there is a cluster of women that are saying, okay, girl, we see it. It's ugly. But you know what? Come on. Come on. Let's adjust your crown. Let's put that back on. Okay, let's help you wipe these tears. Let's hold your hair hair back in case you need to throw up. Okay, I'll put it to the side like mine. Okay, and say, girl, come on. Come on. It's bad. We know it's bad, but look at here. Let's go get something to eat. Okay, or let me cook you something. Let me pour you a little something, or let me light you something. Whatever the get down may be, whatever it takes. Okay, or uh, let's cut the hookah on, okay? It depends on how they want to take theirs in. It don't matter, okay? But girl, look at here. Damn. But we got this, though. We got this. Get up every day. Go to work, okay? You ain't the first one with a little old scandal. It's all sorts of shit brewing, okay? So you're not the only one. You're just the one that's in the hot seat right now. Okay, but you're going to be all right, and you ain't the only one that done deal, dealt with a crazy-ass man, okay? You ain't the only one that has to rebuild. You just have to rebuild where you got to rebuild at, but some women had to rebuild far worse and some far less, but still some have had to rebuild. It's, 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 girl... It's some bullshit, okay? Let's just say it's some bullshit. <laughs> some bullshit. Okay? Where well, you want to... Look, I want to throw a rock at that motherfucker. Okay? I want to whoop his ass. Yeah, I understand. Girl, look, I get it. Okay? And then, and then you get to a point where I want to tell my side. Because, see, there's always... The other person got their side. They got their version of things that they're telling y'all same friends. Okay? And it's like still you trying to hold it within yourself and keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet, stay queen, you know? It's hard as fuck. It is hard as fuck. There's karma and there's dharma, okay? And one thing about it, though, both of them motherfuckers have have a tendency of spinning the block. It don't give you no warning, no prerequisite, it ain't, you know what I'm saying, it ain't red light, green light, it ain't none of that shit, it just shows up, okay, and based off the the decisions and the choices that you made, it lets you know which one is coming, karma is the shit you don't want, that's the hurtful shit that, you know, it's like, okay, I gotta pay for what I've done, okay, Dharma is the good things that happen. It's like, wow, okay, I sowed some seeds in this, and this is the harvest. Man, this is how this, man, my good deed turned out to be this. Yeah, that's Dharma, yeah. So, we have to have a balance. What goes up comes down. What goes wrong goes right. 
We just got to be patient. Ride through it. Use our discernment. Hmm. Trust our intuition. Hmm. Stay principled. Just ride this shit out. Love you, girl. You got this. You're going to get through it. You ain't the only one.